Welcome to Media Minute. I'm Michael Forward, and I'm all by myself this week. Not even the ghost is here with me this week. So we're just going to carry on and uh, tell you about some uh, video game news. Now, of course, Cyberpunk 2077 came out last week, and it's been kind of messy. It's been kind of messy. CD Projekt Red, the developers have actually put out a statement apologizing for the console release of Cyberpunk 2077. And they're kind of, I wouldn't say begging, but they're asking gamers to give it a little time so they can get some more patches out. But they've had eight years to develop this so far. So what happened in those eight years? Who knows? Who knows? Also, EA has yet gobbled up another video game company, Codemasters, the guys who did the Micro Machines game back for the NES They've actually been gobbled up by EA. So EA now has a whole bunch of developers working on racing titles. So if that's a good thing or not, considering the history of EA, I'm not sure. We're going to go into your new releases now. And we're kicking things off with Alba, a wildlife adventure for PC and iOS. Join Alba as she sets out to save her beautiful island with its wildlife and possibly start a revolution. It's a kind of an educational title. There's all sorts of animals and stuff you get to interact with. And it's got uh, charming visuals. And it's uh, definitely one that might be for the kids. Doing fairly well with 83 on Metacritic. Next up is On to the End for PS4 from Two Ton Studios. It's a challenging combat adventure game in the style of a cinematic platformer. You master the read-react combat system and participate in intense sword fights. And uh, apparently this one's kind of difficult, so if you're looking for a challenge, this one might be for you. Doing 81 on Metacritic so far. Now, if you're looking for more of an adventure game, Call of the Sea is out for uh, all current generations of Xboxes, as well as uh, PC. It's from Out of the Blue, Inc. It's a first-person adventure game set in the 1930s that tells the story of Nora, a woman on the trail of her husband's expedition. Explore a mysterious island in the South Pacific, solving puzzles and unearthing secrets. It's doing fairly well with 81 on Metacritic. And if you're a fan of John Wick, we have John Wick's Hex for the Switch by Mike Bithell. Become the Baba Yaga. John Wick Hex is a fast-paced action strategy game that makes you think like John Wick. Choose every action and attack. Choose every action and attack. This one's fun. Choose every action and attack you make while considering the consequences. Experience an original story that actually takes place before the John Wick films. 71 on Metacritic for that one. And uh, yeah, since I'm here by myself this week, that uh, pretty much wraps up this edition of uh, Media Minute. I'm just going to... No, we're not done yet. Ah, jeez, Ghost, I, I thought I was done with you. Every time a media company digs up an old IP, I will be there. Okay, Ghost, what do you got for us this time? This one goes out to all those that had to read Animal Farm in junior high. That's right. They've made an Animal Farm video game called Orwell's Animal Farm. It's a text-based choose-your-own-adventure where all animals are equal, but some are more equal than others. Immerse yourself in George Orwell's story of absolute power and corruption and the ups and downs of animalism. This book came out in 1945 and they made a game on it. This book was written on the themes of socialist ideas of the Soviet Union and the, and the societal tendency towards class stratification. What kind of video game do you make out of that? I'm done. Well, uh, thanks for your input once again, Ghost. Uh, I'm Michael Forward. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Media Minute. We'll be back again next week. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe.